Hi, this is Jessica from Wildflower Crafts. Wanted to bring you another project that I've been working on. This is a journal. It is made from a postbound photo album um, by Recollections. This is probably a pretty old album. I got this at a garage sale last year for either a dollar or fifty cents. And um, I actually started this journal last fall, and it has taken me this long to finish it because it was very difficult. I would not recommend that you make a journal like this out of a postbound album. I would, if I could do it all over again, I just would have used chipboard and done it that way. So let me set my camera down here. Set this down. So the front, this is what the um, album originally came like, this blue with this pattern on it. And um, you can see the holes there. I just used, these are pretty big ring binders, either the one and a half inch or two inch, I'm not totally sure. So originally what I did was actually just drilled into the holes here to make them go all the way through. But that left kind of the cardboard color and it wasn't um, of the interior of this core and it didn't look good at all. So I left the covers like that and made the inside pages and that was last fall and that was the last thing I did with it. So it's been sitting in a bag um, in my craft room and I finally got out and worked on it. So the cover, this is using the Stampin' Up! Um, the Large Blossoms Punch and this is one of the blossoms and I pr you probably can't see because my camera doesn't like to focus very well but there is some glitter on the outside and then I just put a little bling piece in the center. Um, and so what, what I ended up doing was I took sticky back canvas and I put it on each um, on the sides here to cover up these holes and then because you know the raw edge of the sticky back canvas is right here then I covered it with this green ribbon that I already had in my stash and so that seemed to go really well you can see here's the inside back it up here a little bit here's the inside there's more of the sticky back canvas where it goes right there um, and then I um, yeah so I did that and I put these little circles here, glued these on to cover up where the raw edges of the ribbon are. I don't think I can back out anymore. Nope. So I added a little pocket right here uh, with a little tag. This is this is going to a friend's mom um, that has been diagnosed with cancer um, for now the third time. And I really wanted to send her a get well card because she just got out of the hospital. And I also want to send her a journal. So when I was making this, I had this, I had her in mind while I was finishing this up. So let me show you the other back cover. It's exactly the same with the sticky back canvas there, the um, little circles, and then there's another pocket with another little tag in there. Okay, let's see if we can get this in shot here. So the pages are, um, like I said, I made these a long time ago. So I've got different things in here. This is from, this page is from a wallpaper sample book. I have, and there's no particular order in these. They're not technically signatures. I just kind of threw everything in here. These are the original photo pages. So I added those in there. There's a, um, an envelope with more tags. Um, this tag I did using uh, ink and watercolor or water. Oh, that page is in there upside down. Hello. All right, gotta fix that. Um, a little card. There's lots of stamping. Little recipe thing. I love how this bird turned out with this ink that I have. It's almost like a chalk ink. It's fabulous. This is an old page where you can lift up the plastic and then stick a photo in there. It's an envelope I made myself. My envelope punch with tag in there. Tuck spots. More envelopes with, what do we got here? A little postcard. 
This is a little envelope I made using two 6x6 six six pieces of paper and I made this tag with um, decoupaging napkin on top of there and then I just kind of inked it a little bit. But I put the little raffia on top so that it wouldn't go all the way down in there because it's a pretty deep pocket. This is a cute little mason jar tag from Target with a little pocket. Another envelope with a journaling spot, a little tag in there. This is really cute. This is a little reminder from my vet that it was time to get my dog shots. So I just did that and then covered it with paper on the other side. Um, I can't remember where that's from. There's space here where you can open this. I love this sewing machine stamp that I have. And then there's the end of it. And I left the back, whoops, come here you. I left the back plain with just the ribbon, so I think it looks nice. And then I added a little dangle here. Um, this is just with thread, but there's beads. There's a little lantern and a fleur-de-lis. And this is actually a little green dye. Is it dye singular or dye singular? I can't remember. And then I really wanted to put this rickrack um, here, but it was so it's so thin it won't glue on. And then these lovely little fibers. So anyway, so that's my little journal that I just worked on using the Postbound album. I'm so glad it's done. I'm going to send it off to my friend's mom um, here this week. So thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.